It was an excellent workshop. It was one of my first experiences with a long one, and it was incredible. We did learn a lot. I tell you, it was, it was a great experience. It really was. The partnership for the Delaware Estuary has a Delaware Estuary Watershed Teacher Workshop. We've been having it annually for over 15 years. This year we're having two workshops. Each workshop is three days long. So it'll be a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday one week and a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday another week. Both workshops can earn up to 30 professional development hours. It's generally 15 hours per workshop. It's a lot of field trips and hands-on and out outside doing things, um, very active. The other workshop is Urban Waters and it talks a lot more about uh, what teachers can do in a more urban environment with their students. It is perfect for K-12. to That could be either private uh, schools, public schools, homeschool teachers, or also informal educators working at nature centers or environmental education centers within the Delaware Estuary. When your, when your brochure comes out or when I get the email with the announcement, we have a science teacher network called NEST, Network of Elementary Science Teachers. It's the independent school network of science teachers and I always forward it on. I have to say, I think almost everybody in the network has gone to the workshop at one time or another. We're going to travel to PSEG's Energy and Environmental Resource Center, and we will also get to see a restored wetland site that PSEG has been working on. We will also explore oil spill response boat out of Lewis, Delaware, and the University of Delaware's campus, South Campus, where we will learn about native gardens and outdoor classrooms. They will get to dissect an oyster with a member of the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection, where they will talk to them about the different structures in an oyster. They will also travel to Delaware National Estuarine Research Reserve site, where they will get to explore the St. Jones River area and get to take freshwater or estuarine water samples and be able to compare them to freshwater samples that they take in the more northern regions of the Delaware River Bay. And even going down to Dover. I mean, I've passed through Dover so many times and, and I never saw all the problems that they're facing down there until I got to take this workshop. They'll do water sampling, macroinvertebrate uh, sampling. They'll also explore the wastewater treatment plant and the drinking water treatment plants in Philadelphia. And part of that is outdoors where they're talking about how water is treated and, and uh, managed to make clean, safe drinking water for the city of Philadelphia. I knew what wetlands were. I didn't know a lot about them. And I've read quite a bit since then, but it was actually being in the wetlands and seeing the, uh, the turtles, the red eared not the red-eared slide, they're invasive. Um, I'm trying to think, some of the painted turtles and the other animals just out there. It, it was really quite, quite impressive, lots of fun and uh, reminded me how much fun it is for someone who's never been in a canoe. I've canoed all my life, but there were uh, teachers who'd never been in a canoe before. Just, just reminding me how important it is for people to have new adventures. And this workshop reminded me of that, and I tried to create those adventures for my own students. The seining at the end, that was the final like, accumulation of everything that we had done. Um, talking about the horseshoe crabs. I certainly used the horseshoe crab. Uh, and that was a big, uh, that whole lesson, it was, it was more than a lesson because we, we went to the University of Delaware where research was being done and so we learned a lot about horseshoe crabs and we saw the primary research happening, got to talk to some of the re researchers uh, and I've used some of that. Uh, some of the things about stream testing and quite a bit about aquatic habitats and how they work. The favorite part was probably the scening because I'm more of a biology major than anything. It has been the best so far. Because it was so much hands-on work. Um, it was the opportunity to meet teachers from different areas, so Pennsylvania and Philadelphia. And the fact that it was week long and we got to build up a friendship with the different people, that was really nice. And then just the opportunity, like the, the activities that we took part in were really good. Cheryl was wonderful. She was fantastic. I mean, she was so knowledgeable about everything that she had done in the past and what she does or continues to do. So we, we really got a lot of information off of them. Estuary Explorers and Urban Waters are both very fun, very exciting workshops. We have always had a great turnout and we hope to see a good amount of teachers out again this year.